Holy shit. Okay. Um, so, you know, I, I was I was about to, I was just watching some TV and, you know, I, I have to go to the gym soon. And I just hopped on Facebook really quick just to see, you know, what's, uh, what's going on? What's going on? I, I was going to record uh, the review of this, but if you want to see it, stay tuned. Um, anyways. All of a sudden, I see this article. Not this particular one here, but uh, this is a very reliable uh, website. And it's, it involves McFarlane toys, okay? I'm just gonna... What? Let, let me read that to you in case you're not watching. McFarlane Toys reveals new deal with DC Direct. Yeah, oh gosh, my, well, my elbow popped. Dude, are you kidding me? That's great. Um, you know, I, I made a video October 10th, I just looked at the date, saying, ah, DC Direct just closed, like, it sucks, you know, but it's kind of been a little bit of writing on the wall, right? I'm just pumped. They're finally bringing it back. I hope, you know, they, they'll, I don't think they'll bring back DC Essentials. Or DC icons. If they did, that'd be uh, pretty great, huh? But, yeah, so... Uh, I'm guessing DC's on a better track since, you know, the... Uh, since the whole ordeal last year. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe they're just like... Maybe Warner Brothers sees... Oh, wow. McFarlane Toy is doing pretty good with this uh, DC license. Let's uh, see if they want to oh, reopen... The, um, you know, DC Direct. And I'm, dude, uh, I cannot wait to see what we can get from this, you know, from uh, from McFarlane, from DC Direct again. It's going to be so good to see that line again. Um, hopefully, you know, this means that the DC Multiverse line will continue. And then while that is going, um, you know, DC Direct continue, you know, it's its own thing. Cause they're gonna make they're gonna continue making statues to like Batman Black and White, which is awesome. Unfortunately, you know, recently I just canceled my orders for like these figures that took forever. Like they said they were gonna send it by May, and um, they already charged, you know, the credit. You know, I, it's great. You know, I had to cancel it, but now I'm like, ah, oh, maybe I should have held on a little longer. Maybe, you know, McFarlane could have fulfilled those orders. I don't know. I doubt it, but I mean, wow. Um, it, you know, the article didn't say much. Um, it says that we'll start seeing products in 2022. So, I mean, this year's almost over. So, 2022 is just, you know, a couple months away. Um, not even six months. We're, we're halfway through. Uh, yeah, and, you know, we, we, we're going to get designer series, Batman Black and White, Harley Quinn Red, White and Black, uh, and the new product. So, another thing I'm wondering is, is DC Multiverse going to go under the, uh, you know, DC Direct, you know, brand, uh, and not go under McFarlane Toys anymore? I don't know. Um... There's a lot of implications to this. Uh, maybe I'll, you know, keep making videos updating um, with more news that comes out. Because, I mean, obviously, you know, th this is a lot of, even this article here is a lot of speculation as to, like, uh, you know, could he do this? Could he do that? It, you know, he's saying we could get more Dark Knight's metal figures. And I'm like, oh my god, please, no. But, you know, I mean,. It's great. I'm I'm very happy. I knew you know I knew one day DC Direct would come back in some sort of form. No way did I expect McFarlane Toys to take that over. You know I you know I I could never see Mattel doing that because Mattel is definitely like, more corporate. I feel like McFarlane Toys they really put a little bit more care into their figures, right? Into their products, not even DC, like everything. When it comes to Mortal Kombat, Call of Duty, um, Warhammer, those figures look great. But, 
I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm very happy. Um, <clears throat> hopefully they'll be able, if they are going to be doing this and they are going to be expanding a little bit more, hopefully they can bring back some people from DC Direct originally. Probably not. It's probably all going to be McFarlane. But, I mean, I don't know. That's not, you know, that's not my place to analyze, you know, so. But, I'm just so happy to get some DC Direct product back into coming into this house that's not like old <laughs> you know so let me know what you guys think um you know I, I'm hoping maybe we'll get a whole new DC toy line maybe I don't know like, I, I really or maybe McFarlane is just gonna say you know what we're handling the figures so we'll you know we'll uh do the statues under DC Direct even if that's the case which kind of suck you know less figures but Still, like, it's, you know, the, their statues are fucking great, you know? Also, this also means that McFarlane's going to be holding the DC license for a much longer time, right? Like, unless they, they, like, I can't see a reason why he won't continue to get the DC license after uh, next year. Because he said it was the a three-year deal, so 20, 2020, 2021, and 2022. So... We'll see. It's all, like like I said, it's all up in the air. Let's just see how it is. And, uh, yeah, I'm just so pumped. I'm so happy that they're, the DC Direct is coming back under a great company in uh, McFarlane Toys. You know, so, just, I don't know. Yay! It's, it's a day to celebrate. And, uh, yeah, man, it's crazy. Because uh, I, I made that video, you know, feeling very sad and like no hope and I was just like ah oh, god damn you know but now I'm like not even a year later not even a year later and they're, they're coming back and it's great so anyways I'll see you guys in the next video peace thanks for watching